So there is a different uh, paradigm in our present medicine. Uh, we discussed this, that it's a Newtonian type of science which determined, from 17th century, we determine our present medicine, which is basically medicine of the separation. We divided this in the physical, so the medical practitioner taking the physical type of medicine. If there is some emotional problem, we're sending this to psych psychologists or psychiatrists. We, if this is a spiritual, we <laughs> believe that spiritual is more related on the religion basis, so we'll send to the uh, priest, rabbi, uh, and uh, please deal with this. So it's very funny because the, the, the Newton was a uh, quite spiritual person, and for his discovery, he used the pendulum. In order, so we're using frequency uh, in order uh, and resonance in order to discover his law of physics. So when we go into 20th century, we have uh, this quantum uh, physics, which was booming, uh, starting in, you know, the, the in 1900, from uh, Planck to the Einstein and many other after Einstein scientists. And we have uh, this uh, famous statement of Professor Carlo Rubia, who received in, in for this, uh, his research in 1984 Nobel Prize, that the matter which our contemporary medicine is looking, it's only one billionth of manifest in the universe. The rest is energy fields. So you have to look at everything as an energy field. You are energy fields and which are interacting all the time on the base of this law of intelligence, of the law of this universe, or laws of the universe. And when they are going in the resonance, information can be transmitted right away. When the two fields of the energy are in the resonance, that's a transmission of the information automatically, whether you want or not. So we discuss about treating the patients on the all levels. That's the, our principle in this new paradigm, that we have to approach the patient, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual level at the same time. Why is it like this? Because if you look at the energy medicine, if you go into the, the, the smaller part of energy medicine, which are the subatomic par particles, they cannot, cannot exist independently. They have to work together, the same with the humans. We cannot, if we are in the island without any other person, we are losing tremendous amount of the information so our cells will degenerate very quickly and we are going to die very quickly. So we need to use all of this information on all the levels in order to maintain our health and function of the cells. And in all our um, health issue, one of the important part is detoxification and clearing the terrain. And we show the ugly you know, place, dirty place with all infestation, and after detoxification, this beautiful place. So optically, even looking at this, you have to make a choice where you want to live, where you want to be. So detoxification is the the most important principle of, uh, in order to uh, re uh, achieve health or maintain health. We're talking about spagyric medicine, which is basically established this fantastic harmony between physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual by restoring the rhythm of our life, rhythm of our cells, because the cells are the basic for our life, for our function. And uh, we also mentioned that body is a fantastic receiver and the same emitter of the energy, radiation, and information was Laro work, Lakowski, Pop, Lipton. And all of the information is stored as a hologram. It's impossible to take all of this information. We can see all the time. We can see the shapes, colors, all of this room, all of this you, and everything as a, as a picture we would have to have incredible capacity in the brain to, in order to do it. So everything is the hologram because hologram is capable to keep everything in very, very uh, uh, mathematic way. 
And in order to retrieve information, we're using, and this information is available to every cell in the body. That means that all of this information is automatically, because of our ability of DNA to store information and, and, and also talk to each other, to get this information. So each cell knows everything about the body. This cell, it's like a internet, a computer. You go to the computer, you, you can know anything about uh, Japan, how the Japan are, are doing, uh, economy, ev everything. You can listen to, uh, let's say, um, uh, uh, Vienna Opera, or you know, anything. And it's the same, you can might feel, if you close the eyes, you might feel like you are in this beautiful building in Vienna. So that's uh, information. Information is basically available to every cell in the body and is, is encoded as a hologram and the, by the, the, the cells is going to respond to this information in proper way. And we can retrieve information using resonance principle and using this device like an instrument, very simple, very easy. And um, we are also uh, mentioned to you about ACMOS, which is uh, um, energy ba basic evaluation and edge balancing. It's a fantastic uh, method and a fantastic treatment for most of the people, most of the patients, as, far, uh, as well as uh, you know, if, if somebody is interested in animals or for animals.